But we're going to take a cultural break now. Because what you don't know about Ben Espiner, as well as reading the weather with a certain amount of pl- aplomb and panache, as well as being a, a pretty good producer for a young guy and lining up the talent for the show uh, every day and working quite hard and getting told to pee off from the Prime Minister's office time and time and time again and trying to cajole bloody Luxon's office into coming on. Ben is also a bit of a culture vulture. He is an amateur thespian and he watches movies and listens to music and stuff, something I don't do often. And, and we've just published, um, we've just published on the platform Opinion, a review Ben has done of Avatar. And he's written the review because he came in and we talked about movies and he said, basically he said, I've been to see Avatar, which is great because I don't have to. And let's just say it was a very definitive review and Ben joins us now. Ben right, joins Sean, us now to assess the blockbuster of the new year. So, Ben, thank you very much. I, 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 I read the uh, review uh, last night when it went up online. Bloody good. But you didn't like this movie, did you, Avatar Not at 2. all. Not at all. I'd take a three-hour conversation with Chris Hipkins' breast team over watching this movie any day, Sean. I mean, James Cameron, what, what was that? What was that, Okay, mate? but the thing is, Avatar, New Zealanders feel warm about Avatar. It's not quite Lord of the Rings, but it's close because James Cameron lives here and a whole lot of technology, I think, from Weta or other people has been used in the making of the movie. It's almost like a New Zealand movie. For a start, though... The first Avatar was about blue people and nasty people, men, misogynist men with guns and, and, and Sigourney Weaver and it was all about nature and, and being green and stuff. I presume that's, that yeah, Avatar... Just perfectly, it's the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. Don't need to see it really. Not, not, not the so exact what's different same. You basically Avatar summed it all up. Is it the same plot? Nothing... Yeah, it's the same plot. It's pretty much the exact same. Um, you don't really need to see the first one to see the second one. It doesn't really make sense either way anyway. It's just three... I mean, Sean, it's some of the most ridiculous mumbo-jumbo I've ever seen in my life. I mean, you can't really compare it? it to The Lord of the Rings. But three hours. Three hours wow. of the same... It's over and over again. You can't really compare it to Lord of the Rings because there's an entire spectrum of literature that came before that. This was just nothing. That The dialogue was agonising. The plot was ridiculous. Uh, the characters were so underdeveloped, I just didn't really seem, didn't really care what happened to them. And it just went on, and there's nothing to sink your teeth into, Sean. You have to have something more than the visual effects. I get so it, it was weird, it was beautiful. So this was just Avatar 1, and from what I've seen of the promotion, it Avatar, was Avatar 1, 1 but on with water. Kate Winslet, yeah. Uh, with water, yeah, Kate, yeah, exactly. So, what, how, do you want to, I can run through the, 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 the sort of so synopsis in a way. So was Kate Winslet that, in it? Was she like a fat Well, I person? think she wasn't. No, no, she was one of them. I don't know. I, I couldn't. They all kind of sounded a little bit the same, really. Their accents changed halfway through. It was a bit confusing, but I think she was in it. Um, and also, uh, Jermaine Clement from Flight of the Concords was a nice little cameo for him as well. And did you actually see him, or was he CGI? Yeah, or yeah, yeah. He played a, like a marine. No, no, he was real. He played a marine, marine biologist. Um, but Sean, yeah, there's just nothing there. I just couldn't. I couldn't grasp on to anything. You have to have more than just the visual effects for three hours. It's not enough. You need to have something that speaks to you or like a story that's worth telling. I couldn't tell you what this movie was about if you asked me. I couldn't tell Wasn't you. I, even if I really thought green. about it. I mean, the first one was about... Basically well, there was some half-assed but... attempts at moral grandstanding there about environmental destruction and colonialism as well as a, a sort of predictable uh, interspecies sexual tension. But that's really... I, I, can't, I couldn't tell what? you... What? Hang on, what hang on, hang on. That. Back up the bus. There's something to be interested in. A bit of sex in this one. Not even sex, just a bit of sexual tension between two different types of aliens. It was kind of predictable. It kind of seemed a little bit forced. I guess James Cameron was like, well, you've got to have a bit of romance in there. But, but you okay. know, other than that, just nothing. Nothing. So, got to have something. Of one, okay. Oh, what do we do? What was that, that ridiculous woman, Kate Roger, on, on News Hub do? God, she drives me out the wall. Uh, what are we going to use? I, I'd like you to do more movie reviews because I think that's a movie review... Most yeah. people would be too afraid, Ben, to say that Avatar 2 sucks. But you really? clearly... Really? I heard it was up for an Academy Award. I, yeah, I can't... I, can't, I just couldn't believe it <laughs> after that. I mean, I, I can't right, believe that it was up for best. what scale do you want to use for this? Do we do a one well, I was to thinking about that. Or, f- or one to five stars? Uh, 
the stars are easiest, right? It's it's, it's good for everyone to understand. If it, if I, if we were going off of stars, I'd give it one point five. Probably one and a half because stars of the, out of five. The, you know, visually it was cool. It was cool to see it in the IMAX cinema. It was big. It was you know it was. If anything, I'd say this movie was maybe a three hour long showcase of how far cinematic technology has come, but simultaneously a showcase of how far classic storytelling prowess has fallen. That's what I'd say. That's my. That's there's, there's well, your tagline ben, ben, for I it. Just, there's some feedback to this. Someone has said 100% agree. Avatar 2 was rubbish. There you go. Some woke overtone. Okay, rubbish. so that's with you. Then someone says, why does one MDB, whatever that is, give the movie 7.8 out of 10 then? Because... You know? I don't know, because they're li lying? Or they weren't watching the same... Ben, I don't know. I, I decided, it's quite popular to like these movies. Yeah, okay, but you don't. You're bucking the trend. I would like you no, I'm every my couple of weeks. To, uh, every couple of weeks, I want you to do a movie review. That'd be good. And if be they're good any good, I'd actually out of my pay. I, 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 I just know we did not pay you to go to this movie. You did love you off your own back. Oh, that would have made it a little bit worth it at least, for God's sake. <laughs> yeah, well, I'd love to do another review, actually, because I'd like to get this one out of my system. Get this one gone. We'll do another one. All right. It, 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 All right. Ask the listeners, who, what do they want me to watch? I'll watch it. I'll see what I think. Okay, so you're basically saying Avatar 2, three hours of your life, you'll never get back. Absolutely, yeah. Do not care to Good see stuff. that one again. Wouldn't recommend it, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I understand. Avatar fans pay for the, the scenery, the visual effects, that's fine, but it's not enough that. You've got to have something more, in my opinion. For three Blue hours, come on. Blue woke people underwater. Blue yeah, woke exactly. people in the water. I hope James Thank Cameron's not too Kate. devastated by my take, but uh, there you go. Oh, no, I'm sure he'll be ringing to complain, Ben, and people can read that in the opinion section of the platform uh, website and the platform app. Excellent work, Ben. Almost as good as your weather reading. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Yeah, we'll get some more of that at 9 o'clock, shall we? That is uh, Platform Movie Reviewer. He's just got a promotion or another job, Ben Espiner. Uh Ben's opinion on Avatar 2 reflects that of everyone I know who's seen it. Like you, I'm glad that you've saved me three wasted hours of my life. That is from Ro. Ah, oh, Ben's tapped into something here. Please review the Magic Mike sequel. That's Ben. Oh, Ben, that's from Mosgiel, I think, that message. Maybe we will send him off to Magic Mike 2. I haven't even seen Magic Mike 1. Apparently, a lot of women like that movie, though, for some reason. Uh, totally agree. Avatar is a highly overrated piece of woke crap. Looking forward to more honest movie reviews from Ben. That is from Rob. He's also from Mosgiel. Uh, ben, you are Totally correct. The Avatar movie is rubbish. Won't be seeing the next one. That is from John. Thank you, John. Um, well, can I send in... Is it Magic Mike 2? Okay, we'll find out when it's out in the theatres. Um, Sean, Avatar. So there you have it. The movie you get when you don't offend anyone. Welcome to the brave new world. That is from Sean and Kimberly. Uh, Sean, I'm gutted at Ben's review. The blue Avatar people suffered immensely due to rampant colonisation. This isn't very inclusive or fair to dismiss these poor people. They will have co-governance soon and Avatar 3 will show you how wrong you are. Very good. I think maybe it was a misogynist review of Avatar. No, he didn't. He did say there was some sex in it. Oh, now, here's an interesting question. Is Ben Espiner related to Guy and Espiner? If so, that, that's a major win over Red Radio. Uh, Loath as I am to discuss the personal background of the employees of the platform, I think it is fair to say that Ben is Guy and Espiner's nephew. And we're not going to hold that against him. Actually, Guy's a pretty good hand. Out of uh, the mad ideologues at Red Radio, Guy's probably the pick of the bunch. Um, Sean, what they don't say about blue people is that when they meet, they... I'm not going to read that out, and I don't think it's true. Um, Steve, I'm now getting people... That re movie review has just set people off, all these, all these ideas of what movie Ben can re review next. He'll stop producing for me. He'll just go to the bloody movies and be pretentious and wear a beret and a scarf and say, oh, I'm the movie reviewer for the platform. Um, a hundred percent agree. Woke rubbish with stock movie effects and an immature storyline that is entirely lacking, says Rick. Uh, Avatar. So, 
I know that I've already read that one out. He's a good movie reviewer. Ha ha, says someone. I thought exactly the same. Give me Top Gun any time. Deserves an Academy Award. And that's right. If you want a great movie to go and see, Top Gun Maverick or Top Gun the original. Just yee-haw, planes going fast, people looking quite attractive. I love Maverick. It's the best movie I've seen in ages. Um, Sean, your, uh, Ben, your weather reporting is not good. You bypass the Tron in favour of Tauranga. That's from George. Okay, George, I hear it. The world's a critic, isn't it? Spot on, Ben. Have yet to hear one positive review from all who have seen it thus far, and yep, three hours, never reclaimed. That is from Avis down in Winton. Thank you, Avis. Sean, Ben must be in terrible trouble with woke Uncle Guy and over his review of Avatar. That is from John. If he was, he wouldn't tell me. Ben has the good sense not to tell me. 